Alright guys, cooking video, how to today, sweet and sour fish, specifically the black drum, and it's going to be easy, all you need to do is fry it, make the broth for the sweet and sour, and then put in your fried fish, super simple, 15 to 20 minute tutorial, here it is. So the black drum was already fried, just in regular oil, right? Yeah, right. I put uh, flour to make it. See that flour? A little bit of flour. Mm -hmm. I sprinkle flour and salt inside only. Just flour and salt, and then you fry it over vegetable oil. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And this is all the ingredients. Either this or the fresh one. Um, so this chunk? one, pineapple chunk is much easier. But this one I put a little uh, flour. Flour? Okay. And this one, all the... This one? Only maybe half a spoon or one spoon, and a tomato sauce. Make it more yellow. Flour, pineapple fresh, ginger, carrots, red onions, yeah. garlic, red bell pepper, uh, green yeah. onions, and and that. Okay. And vinegar and salt. White vinegar and White sea salt. salt. Oh, uh, uh, why is there bananas? Oh, I just hold it there. Oh, okay. <laughs> one fourth of the uh, guy. Can you see it? Yeah, one fourth. Okay. Can't really see it, but it's one fourth. Okay. And this one also maybe half a cup. This is one cup, so half a cup of tomato sauce. Half a cup. Okay, now we can start. Do you need a walk, yeah. or it just makes it easier? It makes it easier. Okay. Walk is always easy. Okay, now we'll start on. That's the guy pineapple. I yeah, have that's fresh. fresh. That's fresh. And this sugar. Maybe the sugar. Oh, is that's sweet. sugar. Okay, so inside that cup is sugar. Maybe this is one fourth. One fourth of sugar. One fourth sugar. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so garlic goes in first, and that. and then ginger separated. I can always all go. Red in. onions in, also separated. So this is the way I cook. And then you have to mash the garlic so it has more flavor. And then you can mix it and turn down your heat. Medium heat. Now I have I like to separate the um, onion and I can put it later on the end. Okay, so you want to separate it so it doesn't overcook. Yeah, it'll okay. be or more. It'll be a little bit more crunchy yeah. still. So Set aside. The onion. Set aside. This is red onion. Red onion. You can use white bread, brown bread. Okay. Now I can do the the anato. That's a suete. Yeah. So that one is one this, but already yeah. open. Yeah. One About one spoon. Mm -hmm. oh, Cobra Yokai, you might get. No, I won't. Well, give me a second. That's a half a cup. Yeah. Now the. Uh, Vinegar. vinegar. Yeah, let it sit and then turn it up. Turn up the heat to pretty much high. And salt. You know the salt is uh, on your taste bag. So add salt to Maybe taste. one spoon. Yeah. Okay, add salt to taste. Yeah, yeah. Okay. I always put this if you don't have one. So this is chicken stock? Yeah. Bullion? Yeah, bullion. Chicken or flavored bullion? Because that's sour, you have to use yeah. The chicken bouillon. Uh, I put the whole thing. Maybe I put the whole thing so that tastes good. Okay. So one whole bar of the chicken bouillon if you get the bar. If you get the bar version. Mm -hmm. 
since it's boiling already. Yeah, it's boiling. Because I wanna the vinegar will will dry out. You want the vinegar to dry out? I want it, yeah, like that okay. to make it to disappear. Okay. Let it now after uh, get dry like this. Okay. See, you can put this one uh, half a spoon of flour. Half a so spoon of flour. Yeah. So, and this is pineapple. Okay. Fresh pineapple and half a spoon of flour. The flour makes the the water Salt. thick. Yeah. Yeah. It makes the broth a little thicker. So the sweet is from the tomatoes. pineapples and tomatoes and a little bit of sugar and the sour is from the vinegar only. But also vinegar vin is very strong. Yeah. But the pineapples also have a sour sweetness. Yes, yes. Pineapples yeah, also a little bit sour. Uh, if we can put a little water if you want a little maybe uh, maybe uh, if you want more soup or if you want it more water and yeah. more brothy then you can put a little bit of water it's to preference Turn down to medium. Oh no! Oh man, that already smells good. Can put the sugar. So now the sugar. I at first I put only uh, okay. uh, half of that one okay. Maybe one two spoon. Okay. Two spoons sugar, starting off with. Taste it. A little bit more. A lot of think I this one. Yeah. Salty a little bit. A little bit salty. Yeah. But it's just because you didn't add all your vegetables. Yeah. All your vegetables. Okay, so we do carrots. Red bell pepper. Plus once you put the the then you can put your fish. And then as soon as you put in the vegetables, you can put in your fish. We cut it in half so that it's easier to eat and there's more pieces. Then you can you can arrange it later like that. But um, Easy to cook. Easier to cook if you put it into two pieces. Okay, now we have to turn it down a little bit. The reason I leave it this one, this will be kind of uh, garnish. Garnish on top. Yes. So there's still a little bit of vegetables left over for garnish. Okay. Now if you want it a little more sour, you can add more vinegar, mm -hmm. but we don't want sour. This sweet and sour recipe is only for uh, fish, right? Mm-hmm. Okay. I'm okay, it now. It's a little bit more dry, salty. I can put more water. Yeah, it's good though. I don't want. Then we can put a little bit more sugar in it because remember I put uh, extra sugar just in case. Yeah. Because it's supposed to be sweet. I didn't put very much vinegar in it, so vinegar you can adjust. Maybe one cup of water. So at total. this point, one it's one of cup of water. Total. Yes. Also, that's only if you like it to be soupy. Maybe it dry out later. So you leave it to simmer until it uh, until the water evaporates. No, I just boiling it. I don't touch it when uh, I put water. Okay. Then make it high so that I can start to turn it, it to high heat. Because it's boiling already. See how the, the glaze in it? Yes, there's already a coating mm -hmm. on the fish. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 
can see there's a pair of it with sugar on that. So the total of sugar is just that, one, that little thing. I don't know how many cup is that. That's probably about four spoons. Yeah. Four, four spoons of sugar. Okay. I'm a salty person, so a little salty more. No, it's pretty sweet actually. Okay, it's good? Yeah. And you put this, and like the that. rest on top for garnish. Then that's cooked. And it's already cooked. Okay. It's quick. And the onion. Alright guys, so as you can see, it was probably only 12 to 15 minutes. It was quick. It was a uh, very quick cook. If you like it, let me know. If you like these types of videos, also let me know. If you want to see more Catch and Cooks, let me know. This was a Filipino styled sweet and sour, specifically using black drum. My favorite thing about this dish is that you can use any of your favorite fried fish with this dish. I mean, our favorite to use is red snapper in the Pacific and over here in the Gulf. It's just a sweeter meat and you can really taste it with the sweet and sour. And we're just trying it out on the drum. This is our first time actually uh, doing the sweet and sour recipe with the fried drum. So we'll let you know. I'm excited to taste it. It's going to be good. But don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and also can't wait to taste it. It's going to be good gonna be real good also guys my favorite way to eat this dish is to have the sweet and sour and fish over a bed of white steamed rice oh it is so good i mean it, it is a filipino dish you can't have a filipino dish without rice white rice specifically any white rice will do my favorite is probably jasmine because it's a little bit chewier it's a little bit soft i like sticky rice so if you guys have a chance try out uh jasmine cow rose rice it's delicious and I'll leave all of the ingredients, all the specific, uh, you know, uh, measurements all down below in the description. I'll do my best to not ad lib, but try to show you guys what was being said throughout all the frying. I know it's kind of hard to hear with all of us uh, ha hearing that crackle, but that crackle means that it's going to be good. It's going to be some good food. All right. Thank you guys for watching. Peace. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. <laughs>